They did the meme. They did the meme. Put a chicken in it and make a name it gay. They're just doing the memes. Like, like seriously, I don't even have to have a reaction. I can just play play clips of this. Put a chicken in it and make her gay. The, the put a chicken in it and make her <laughs> Well, we don't know if she has the, the gay or not. I, I am Mecca. I, I do sometimes, but most of the time I like it. I like a man to tell me to tell me what my opinions need to be on things that they're more interested in. I I like being here to kind of jiggle and look cute. So <laughs> seriously, seriously, on, on the same the same day, right? The same day that we get this news, Disney shareholders officially reject Nelson Peltz's board bid and a w big win for CEO Bob Iger. All right, a little bit of backstory. Let me backpedal. Disney has been making a lot of movies that don't make a lot of money, and they're using the same old formula for quote unquote representation and diversity. And there's many, many, many theories about why they're doing it. Uh, probably the simplest thing is one of the most likely, which is just it's easy. Put a chicken in it, make her gay. It's easy to put a chicken in it. It's easy to just do the same formula over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I am Mecca. Please subscribe to this channel. We're talking. Oh, we're talking about this. The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. I, I want to backpedal on this a little bit. Uh, they, they've been releasing a lot of movies that haven't been doing very well and, and low performance movies. Now, a lot of people are blaming this DEI initiative, this diversity inclusion initiative. And, and people are, are saying that, yes, people get money on the back end to, you know, from companies like BlackRock to keep these little diversity check boxes and things funded at what? The expense of these productions because then they only focus on that little thing instead of of everything else and that's one of the theories you know another theory is is that they are using all of these all of these new versions of things to keep from paying from paying playing keep from paying the old families of the original comic book creators of the original co or the original comic book characters the original crack care I think I need a man to help with this video at least this video <laughs> why are you here hi I'm Rob Robot Shlomo, and I'm here because I did some stuff. I still need a real man. Yes, that's well. That's that's beside the point. <laughs> but but you're here for the video. You're here for the video because you you're gonna. Oh, you've been doing nothing but yelling about this for the past half hour. I'm like, no, no, no. Save this. Save this. You you have the rage that is, that is channeled from everybody who watches this. You know exactly what the like why and this character, and you know everything about this. This is your baby. This is your character. Yeah, this is one of my top okay. three favorite characters. Okay. If you must know, my favorite character is Daredevil, then Captain America, then the Silver Surfer. So, yeah, top three. And let me tell you something. Okay, now listen. Silver Surfer story, okay, Galactus comes, wants to eat the planet. He says, no, I'll seek out... Oh, planets. it is a... <laughs> yeah. Big chrome... I know, I knew it was. I knew it was anyway. I'm not that dumb. Silver Surfboard guy, gotcha. Yeah. He's on the pinball table. Yeah. Like I said, big, big chrome naked dude, okay? Rides around on a surfboard, no memory. Finds Earth, Fantastic Four, Alicia Masters, uh, restores his memory. Okay, you're permanently exiled to Earth. Okay, there you go. That's the story in a nutshell. Uh, somewhere around 2008 or so, Jerry Siegel and Joel Schuster's families, who the two guys who created Superman, they sued DC and Warner Brothers for rights to the character. Now, ever since then... Disney has been deathly afraid of losing the rights to all their core characters. So they started changing them. They started changing them in, 2000, in 2009, 2011, 2010. This, oh, 
Oh, yeah, somebody somebody on Twitter was saying this was the version that they're using from 2010. Like, SMH, this version's been in there since 2010. Yeah. Oh, that seems a lot like, now, now as somebody who kind of comes in with a fresh pair of eyes, I always like to follow the money, and I'm like, yeah, this just seems like a way to not pay people. This seems like a way to, A, cut corners and save money on writers, run, it through, run a script through an AI, grab the probably cheapest version of a character that's recognizable, and generate a bunch of controversy, by outraging your hardest core audience who actually are obsessively, you know, fanatically obsessed with these characters. That's not a right way to put it. Go ahead, go Well, okay, yeah. This version comes along in 2010, appears in something called Earth X, yada, yada, yada. Okay, but here's the thing. The last lawsuit to be settled recently was with a guy uh, by the name of Jack Kirby's family. It wasn't by the name of Jack Kirby's family, just got guy, guy by the name of Jack Kirby. His family... Settled with Marvel. Actually, Steve Ditko's family settled with Marvel. I'm sorry, correction. Swap that. Strike that, reverse it. Steve Ditko's uh, family settled with Marvel. Jack Kirby's family settled a while back. Jack Kirby created this character, the Silver Surfer. Disney launched a lawsuit in 2021 to get the rights to these characters because they didn't want to have to pay royalties to the families of people like Joe Simon, Steve Ditko, Gene Colan, but that, Jack Kirby. But but that's not what I heard. I heard it was to uh, put a chicken in it, make a gay. Put it, put a chicken in it and stuff. Be, because the uh, representation and diversity, and we're trying to have the social credit score. Disney as this. I mean, I, I got to play devil's advocate. They, you know, they're they're failing at turning a profit. They're failing at actually doing some sort of a social political movement for the side that they are, they are trying to appease to, and uh, they're using a lot of this politically backed wordage, verbiage like it's woke, it's a race swap, it's a gender swap, it's you know all of this, and I don't hear a lot of this talk about the money i don't hear a lot of talk about why they change characters why you know because when we saw this with star trek discovery and paramount we saw the different you know the different companies owning these properties so they had to change them enough so that the original creators would still get their royalties or the people who still had the original rights there's that old saying follow the money follow literally follow the money the money trail leads right back to this okay this the only Here's the whole thing about this, okay? They're gonna say, oh no, it's okay. They, I mean the people who supposedly know more about this stuff. Oh, it's okay because it's a character that already exists. Yeah, it only existed since, since 2010, okay? Right around the time they started making all those changes. Oh, but you know, Michael Keaton and Batman, oh, that was a good case where casting against Ty worked. I'm like, it worked once, once. It's not going to work again, okay? And all this shows me is that they gladly walked up to the rake and stepped on it, knowing it was going to whack them in the face. All those months of saying, put a chicken in it and make her gay. Put a chicken in it and make her name it gay. They gladly walked into that trap, knowing what was going to happen. And the. Wait, I, is she gay though? Does she have the gay? I don't think she has the gay. But no she, way. She could be bomb by. I mean, this might be a they them. Is she a they them? I have no <laughs> idea. Well, if you look at the Silver Surfer, the modern version he has no thingy. I mean, so it's there's no thingy, so it might be a they them. But oh, anyway. Oh, it's an interstellar love interest. It's gonna be a YA romance. She's gonna have like a ghost, you know, a, a, a lesbian ghost romance. Probably. On the side. <laughs> For everybody actually... to get offended by. But the story of the Silver Surfer is actually really, it's really, it's a really touching one. And it's a really, it's a really impactful one. Because here's a guy who actually gave up everything, including his identity, who, who he was to save his planet. And he had no idea. And he was forever exiled off of, uh, from his home world. Oh, look, and now they're crap, they're crapping these out again. So they already have a release date, July 25th, 2025. That's going to get moved. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They might just like hurry this in and and try and ride out the election cycle and then see what happens. I'm I'm kind of watching what Bob Iger's doing. But They're just doubling down on this again. They Disney won't let anybody come in and say, "Hey, we'd like to make some more money," like by by kind of just ignoring getting a, a foot in the political 
you know, so, because what happens? You get all the people on, on the internet and you get all of the people on, on both sides just arguing and it destroys the whole property. It destroys all of it. Turning yeah. into these. We don't know that. We're basing a whole bunch of us. We're, we're, well, <laughs> we just thought yeah. a woman being cast. But what, what ticks me <laughs> off, what really irritates me is that they hide behind the whole, oh, well, DEI, inclusion, diversity, diversity. We love diversity. No, money. It's all about money. It's all about money. Yeah, and the people pushing the DEI narrative uh, get more money than people saying, hey, it's uh, actually about a lawsuit certain money. I am Mecca. I'm... Canceled. Silver Shlomo. <laughs> Canceled. Canceled. Hot pastime.